Hey guys, I am Ian K. Since there's very little guide out there on how to use Turvolt in Clan Boss, I thought I'd create a video guide showing how to use Turvolt in a standard counter-attack Clan Boss team. Turvolt is one of those champions in Raid you hear that hits really hard, um, which he does, and is very fun to play with, but you just don't know how to properly tune him in a Clan Boss team because of his extra turns. I experimented with him a lot, and I believe I am able to find the best way to utilize Turvolt in a standard counter-attack uh, clan boss team, which I will share in this video. So, let's first go over the clan boss team that I'll be using. Uh, this team is built entirely around Turvolt, and they also synergize extremely well together. I'll quickly go over uh, each individual champions and their purpose in the team. So first we have Sepulcher. Uh, Sepulcher is obviously here for the attack down. Uh, she'll also block the stun and provide a defense up to uh, the team. Second we have Skullcrusher. Skullcrusher is obviously the counter attack champion and more importantly uh, his ally protection. I don't have a Valkyrie or a Martyr, but I believe Skullcrusher is the best counter-attack champion for a uh, Turvolt, Turvolt team because of the ally protection. It is also important that Skullcrusher is placed in the second slot here, so that Sepulchre's block damage passive will always trigger on uh, Skullcrusher during the AoEs. Third, we have Turvolt, uh, but I'll go over him last since he's the uh, star in this team. Next, we have Razin. Razin is here for the defense down and beacon. He also deals a lot of damage. He's my second damage healer in this team. And something that's quite underrated on him is his ability to remove the attack up buff on the affinity clan boss. I'm never able to hit my clan boss on void anymore since uh, by the time I wake up, uh, the clan boss will always be on affinity. So this is a huge plus to using Razin over Venus, which I do have. I don't have a Draco, so I don't know. Uh, I can test if Draco is uh, going to be better in this team. So fifth, we have Krila. Krila is such an amazing clan boss champion. Uh, when I added her to the team, she improved my team's damage by five to ten million. Uh, she's tuned to go four to three, so she gives everyone a permanent crit rate buff, um, which allows me to build the entire team with only a seventy percent crit rate. Uh, she also provides the ally attack, and she hits pretty hard herself. And finally, we have Turvolt. So Turvolt is the special uh, champion here. He is tuned to go two times to the clan boss's three. He's tuned this way so that he can never outrun any of the buff placed on him, and will always be in tune with the team's rotation. He's also on the third slot to be the stun target if the clan boss is on magic since uh, the magic clan boss will not target Sepulchre or Skullcrusher, so he will target the next champion in line, which is Turvolt. Um, he'll, Turvolt will have the block, uh, debuff buff on him during the stun, so he won't get stunned, um, and he has a chance to counterattack with the counterattack mastery. So I'll uh, start the clan boss run now. I'll go over the stats and gear of each of the champions uh, right after the run. So right here first we'll take one to clan boss. We'll use the ally attack. I wanna use Ryzen's A1 here. Here, we'll, first turn, we'll use his A3. Now we'll block. 
So at this point, everyone is already in rotation except Turbo. So I'll use his A1 here. So I can pretty much auto until it reaches Turbo's turn where I have to turn on, turn on manual to control the contest on his turn. Here is where we will A2 and then A1 rather than using the A3. At this point, the whole comp will be on auto. So there will be a, about a 6 turn manual before we can auto. but he will no longer move for both ally, uh, both AOE attacks uh, so he will always have the entire buff bar uh, for both counter attacks he'll have his defense up, ally protection and counter attack and of course he will increase attack and increase speed rate and crit rate as well There you have it, this is the ruin. Here we have Sepulchre doing 6.6 .6 million, Skullcrusher at 5 million, Terval at about 15.5 million, uh, Razin at 12 million, and Krila at 8 million. So, so I'll go over the, each of these champions here one by one in their speed. So first up we have Sepulchre. So they are all built in lifesteal. So I try to get about a 4.5k defense on her, the speed is 252, I try to get as close to 70% crit rate 
uh, some crit damage, of course, accuracy for the attack down. I have her in the standard um, counter attack mastery. Next, we have Skull Crusher. So he's at 191 speed, got him to 4.5k defense, 42k HP, again, as close to 70% crit rate. Uh, and everything else doesn't matter. And again, the lifesteal. Next, we have Frozen. Frozen, built him with as high defense as I could. Uh, he's at 175 speed. Uh, crit rate, uh, he has more than enough crit rate uh, with accuracy and a lot of crit damage. Next, the so Krila is built uh, uh, with a balance of at at attack and defense. So he, he has 3.5k defense, 3.4k attack, uh, as close to 70% crit rate as I could with high crit damage and 2 to 6 speed. And finally, we'll have Turvold. So, this is the unique part of Turvold here. So, he has 5k attack. 3.2k defense, uh, about 40k HP, more than 70% crit rate, 244 crit percent crit damage, and 106 speed. So this is the speed required in order to run Turvold in a speed-tuned counter-attack team. This speed allows him to run it two times to the clan bosses three, and um, it will not let him outrun the buffs that uh, the team places on him, especially the counter attack buffs. Yeah, so then the masteries, it's of course, it's the same. Uh, I don't think I went over everyone's masteries, but everyone has the exact same uh, offense and defense mastery for clan boss. Alright, so this is the video. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be free to answer. Alright, thank you for watching. Goodbye.